I think fundamentally what we need to do in this country is separate local government from central government. That's what we have in virtually every other Western democracy. I think if you did that, you'd free up immense talent that there is in the localities. At the moment, we're micromanaged by Whitehall, we're told what to do by government ministers, and while they should have rights to do certain things at national level, uh, it just doesn't work anywhere else in the world. We let our local government, our locally elected people, get on and run their own places and I think it'd be done more sensitively and I think we'd get a lot more value for money out of the precious pounds that local taxpayers pay into the pot. Let's have a proper code that defines what local government does, defines its independence, gives it the finance to get on and do the job properly and I think it's going with the flow of government thinking, the previous government's thinking and the ideology of all the parties which is really about uh, allowing people to express themselves and get on and do stuff rather than have, if you like, the nanny state constantly telling you what to do. Why do you personally care so much about decentralisation? My city of Nottingham knows way better where to invest in small industrial units or in a job creation scheme or uh, incentivising industry to come to our city. We know that way better than any super brain in Whitehall. So if you free Nottingham and Leicester and Derby and all the other cities of our country and the towns and the localities, everybody can come to the party and help on that economic regeneration. So we've thought through very, very carefully how this could be done and if you give local government clear independence through a code that we're suggesting, that you uh, enforce it and protect it in the way that we're proposing so that somebody can't come along in five years and undo it all again, which is often what happens when Whitehall giveth power, it taketh it back as well. Um, and also that we ensure that it's got a measure of financial independence. And what we're suggesting on that is that just as Scotland now can use the product of the a 10 pence band of income tax, and that's law, that's going to happen in a couple of years' time, Wales want that power. What's in the water that means that England can't have a similar power and use it just as sensibly to promote the interests of people in England and in the localities. What do you hope to see following this report? What are the next steps? Well, doing a big report like this takes a long, long time. It would be stupid to say, I expect government to say yes or no next week. What I want to do is engage government, engage with the Secretary of State at uh, local uh, communities, Department of Local Government and Communities, uh, engage with the Deputy Prime Minister who's very interested in this, with the Treasury, uh, and say, okay, how do we take this forward? Let's sit down and figure out how would we really make this work? Take your policies that one step further towards independence for local governments. Maybe many, many years time, but to get to a position where in England, local government has the same rights as you expect in France, Germany, America, and virtually every other democratic society, which is local government can stand up for local people uh, and isn't the creature of central government.